if we were to see uh, the institutions such as IDPL, NMDC, NFC, IICT, and so forth, they were all set up in Hyderabad. Because of the fact that public sector undertakings, these huge investments, came up in Hyderabad, Hyderabad as an area grew beyond any other place in the state. That is the reason why but once these kind of institutions come up, then automatically it leads to a transformation. It leads to better salaried employees coming out of that location, coming out of that place, which in turn leads to a cyclic effect where better institutions would come up, overall economic growth takes place, and then the, the city starts moving and growing. Unfortunately, for us, it so happened that 90% of the entire PSUs, which were allocated to the erstwhile state of Andhra Pradesh, have all come up only in Hyderabad. And because of that, Hyderabad grew at a much faster pace than any other place in the state. In fact, so much so that uh, the services sector in Telangana, for instance, grew, is now currently positioned at uh, a 62.87% uh, the tertiary sector, whereas the national average is 55%. And in the same, the tertiary sector, state of Andhra Pradesh, we stand at mere 40%. So the agriculture sector, what is, what should be at 17% as a national average, we are at 35%. The services sector, which is the tertiary sector, which should have actually been at 55%, which is the national average, we are at 40%, whereas Telangana is at 62.87% of the state's GSDP comes from just the services sector, that is the tertiary sector, and predominantly from Hyderabad. So until and unless you have a similar kind of situation also boost the Andhra Pradesh's economy. We will never see the services, the rise of the services sector. It's only the manufacturing sector that is, we are on par with the national average, which is 25%, which is the secondary sector. But there is a huge thrust that should be put in the tertiary sector, which should grow and bounds, which is the services sector, and our dependence on agriculture gradually should come down, per se meaning to say, per se not meaning to say that uh, the growth should come down. The growth in agriculture sector is per se not much. You do not have, you do not see the kind of numbers what you see in the services sector. So it's very important for any particular state to grow, it's very important that the secondary sector, that is, the, that is uh, the services sector, that is the tertiary sector, should grow leaps and bounds. In fact, uh, owing to this reason, the per capita income of Andhra Pradesh, if one were to compare with Telangana, is only 2,19,518. When compared to the figures of those in Telangana, you would see 3,12,398 for the year 2022-23. This is the per capita income. Predominantly it is coming from Hyderabad. The reason why I'm saying this is we would have to have a balanced growth. We would have to have, we would have to harness the strengths that we have. We have a huge, such is the proactive nature of the government. And such is the conducive business-friendly environment 
prevalent in the state that consistently for the past three years in the in the category of ease of doing business the state is rated number one this one major achievement that the state can boast about uh, trying to showcase that we per se are very friendly to environment very friendly to industries now having said that it is it is attracted almost 13 lakh crores in the global investor summit which we concluded last year 352 mous were signed an employment potential of close to 6 lakhs and uh, at a brisk pace these mous are being uh, translated into reality in fact out of 352 mous that uh, we have uh, actually signed in fact 39% of these mous have actually translated into actual uh, commissioning of the plans so at a brisk pace uh, these things are happening and uh, we have uh, also been the economy per se if one were to look at it just doesn't come with only the elite or the aloof or the big manufacturing sector alone coming up it's got a mix of it's got to be a mix of everything in fact uh, so much so that i would say that the state government has implemented in these 5 years several welfare programs orienting them towards sustainable self employment in fact every scheme of the state government if one were to notice the schemes especially the welfare schemes one would be surprised to see 